A very good afternoon. Thanks for clicking on to the Friday evening edition of Hogan's European Outlook. It's the 1st of October and, uh, you know, the models are really having a very difficult time dealing with the uh, presence uh, of Hurricane Sam. Still a major hurricane, in fact, uh, close to Calgary 5 strength uh, down in the tropics. So um, a major player at the moment, obviously, you know, miles away from any land area, but certainly it, it will be having a significant impact on the atmosphere as it continues to track uh, eventually north. It's still kind of heading in a kind of northwesterly direction at the moment, but we are going to see that system uh, lifting north, interacting with the jet stream and the middle altitude pattern. And uh, what the modeling is having a difficult time grasping is uh, the exact interaction between the tropical system of course, undergoing, um, you know, ex-tropical characteristics by this stage. It will merge with a jet, and it's exactly how that uh, th that um, mergence actually it takes place that will really determine what our weather pattern is going to be mid to late next week. So some modelling has been indicating that um, the system enhances high pressure that's over the, the, west, the western portion of Europe, uh, as it moves um, kind of east northeast over the North Atlantic uh, next week, so about the middle part of next week, uh, it has high pressure building over Spain and France, and then it, uh, that basically the pressure builds northwards in response to that uh, interaction over the North Atlantic between Sam and the jet stream. But uh, some other models are indicating that the the system just basically transitions into a, an ordinary area of cold core low pressure uh, with associated fronts and that kind of almost uh, crosses over or close to the UK keeping reinforcing the unsettled pattern but uh, this is a CFSV2 most of the models now indicate that high pressure actually is, is going to uh, build over here so this is in the week two of the, the CFSV2 so uh, week one it's still firmly under the influence of low pressure. Week two, you can see the big change, the big flip around uh, in the upper air pattern associated in a sense with the interaction with SAM and the jet stream. Um, so that's quite interesting to see. You can see here, this is off the GFS ensemble and SAM, very small but very powerful area of... Um, of tropical low pressure like i say it's close to category five strength 145 mile per hour winds may strengthen further it's kind of fluctuated in pressure and strength uh, it weakened re-intensified now weakened it's re-intensified again and uh, but notice here as we skip through the sequence big trough over the over the uk we're going to see a uh, you know, several areas of low pressure spinning around the mother low that's over the UK over the next several days here. We're going to see a, fee a system developing quickly tonight, moving up through England and Wales, bringing some very heavy rainfall, flooding uh, very likely, uh, gusty winds through the English Channel into the southeast of England and up, up the eastern side of the UK. We could see gusts in excess of 65 to 75 mile an hour, or 70 mile an hour should be. Don't want to get too carried away, <laughs> but uh, certainly very strong winds indeed. That feature actually kind of pivots around, uh, you know, offshore almost of the UK and then kind of uh, makes a big line for the northern portion of, of, of Scotland. So the system appears to be at its deepest uh, kind of over the Northern Isles uh, through tomorrow night and into Sunday morning. So we could see the strongest gusts actually. Uh, over the northern the northern isles, far northern mainland, and through Orkney and Shetland, we could see gusts possibly in excess of 70, 75 miles an hour with this system. But uh, it's as uh, Sam lifts north, um, it's going to be interesting to see. It starts to dissipate, as you can see. It merges with a trough co coming off eastern Canada here, as you can see. Still have that trough. Uh, over the British Isles with more frontal systems pushing through on Tuesday. And then keep your eyes uh, to the east of what will be the remnants of SAM merged with a, another area of low pressure. 
And what happens is you notice that the heights strengthen east of the system. So it's adding energy, it's pumping the ridge east of that uh, that remnant hurricane. And then it really builds the heights over the British Isles through the second half of next week here. And the modeling at the moment, folks, is indicating that this pre high pressure system maintains itself. And, uh, you know, I've issued the October forecast and very, very uncertain as to what takes place. It's not until really uh, Sam interacts with the, 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 the Westerlies that you can really, truly pinpoint exactly the outcome of next week's weather. Do we stay unsettled or do we start to see a more settled pattern developing? That is the golden question here. As I did say in last uh, the last video that I was going to speak about some uh, you know, uh, less favourable uh, players globally uh, in terms of a cold upcoming winter. I'm not going to do that today. It's been a very long day and I've got an early start tomorrow. But what I will do is I'm going to intend to try and do that maybe uh, during the course of Sunday. Do a video and explain. Look at sea surface temperatures globally, but also uh, my thoughts on the Man Julian Oscillation and the La Nina and so on and so forth, exactly what I think at this moment in time uh, with regards to the upcoming winter season. So that's it for today. Hope you have a, a great weekend ahead. And of course, as always, please hit the like button and subscribe for further videos. Hope you have a great one. Bye-bye.